RC Davis here with Jamie Skeen, 68 forward out of VCU. How'd it go in front of the Golden State Brass today? Uh, it went pretty good, man. It was very competitive out there, you know. Everybody was competing. It was really good. A good atmosphere out there today. At the end of your workout, I saw you kind of talking one-on-one -on -one with Lloyd Pierce, and I overheard you saying that uh, you probably learned more there than in the, in the instructions itself. You don't have to share what he said, but what is it about the one-on-one -on -one interaction with these coaches? Well, I mean, with the one-on-one -on -one, uh, interaction, it's more... It's more hands-on, you know, they get, to, they get to go teach you. It's like a tutor session almost. So, you know, instead of teaching the class and you get lost and left behind in the classroom and the tutor, it's just you, you and uh, that tutor. So, you know, it's just one-on-one -on -one and you soak stuff in a little bit better one-on-one. -on -one. I know I do anyway. There's European players. There's tons of college players. You have an NBA body. But let's be frank, without VCU's run to the Final Four, we might not be sitting here. Uh, yeah, I, I, I agree with you on that one. Uh, I, I feel like if, um, if it wasn't for that run, I wouldn't, you're right, I wouldn't be here. Uh, we, we turned a whole lot of heads and a whole lot of people, we got a whole lot of people's attention. So, uh, you know, without that run, I, I agree with you on that one. We probably, I probably wouldn't be sitting here. I'd probably be trying to scrounge to get a workout right now. Well, let's go back a little bit. You were Mr. Basketball in the state of North Carolina. You went to Wake Forest. How much did Skip Prosser's passing have an effect on you and eventually led to your transfer? Well, I mean, it, it was a big, um, it was a big time effect on me because he was the guy who recruited me to Wake Forest. So uh, that's who I wanted to come play under for my whole four years. And, uh, you know, after he passed away, you know, I, I even cut my hair. I used to have long hair and he used to always ask me to cut my hair all the time. I was like, no, I was like, no, I'm not cutting my hair. And then when he finally passed away for his funeral, you know, I ended up cutting my hair for him because he was that big of an influence on me. And uh, so that's what pretty much led to my transfer. I, I, I tried it out, you know, because I'm very loyal and I tried it out for another year and it just, after, it just wasn't the same. So, you know, I ended up transferring and VC was just a better fit for me. You're a classic tweener, undersized power forward. We hear that every year in the draft. I mean, does that give you a chip on your shoulder? Well, um, it just makes me want to work a little bit harder, you know, be in the gym a little bit longer, get some more shots up, get stronger, you know, because um, everybody's talking about my height, you know, saying, can I guard four men in the league? And uh, so I just want to work on my skills and uh, get stronger and, you know, get a little bit more talented. You have an inside-outside game. Uh, you've shown to be very effective in the pick and roll. Do these workouts in a three-on-three -three setting allow you to show those strengths, like pick and pop? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, because um, it's more spread out. You know, it's only three. Of, it's only six of you on the court. In a real game, you got a ten. So uh, when you pick and pop, it's just you by yourself. So if you can shoot the ball, that's gonna that's gonna show tremendously in this workout. Handling the ball is one of your weaknesses. Is that something that will develop over time, or is that just something that you can attack, or have you been getting feedback on that in other workouts? Um, well, not really, because uh, when I'm working out in, in all these uh, NBA team workouts, you know, uh, I'm working out as a big, so it's really not that much dribbling involved. But when I'm working out on my own, when I was getting prepared for these NBA workouts, I was doing a whole lot of ball handling, and I actually surprised myself because I'm catching on a little bit faster than I thought. And I'm like, man, I should have been doing this in the season, in my, in my college career, you know? So it kind of caught me by surprise, actually. Uh, how have the workouts gone? I believe you've worked out for the Spurs, Grizzlies, Boston, Atlanta. How have they gone so far? Well, uh, the workouts has all been going pretty smoothly, you know? I've been impressing some people and, uh, you know, I just hopefully, you, you just gotta have that one team that's impressed with you. So I'm trying, to, I'm trying to just impress everybody and hopefully one team falls in love with me and, and they want to draft me. Well, good luck, Jamie. Thank you very much. That's Jamie Skeen. I'm R.C. Davis for Warriors.com. Click and roll on Warriors.com and YouTube throughout the draft process leading up to the draft on June 23rd.